Hello friends, welcome to the channel Physics by IITNs. Today we are back with another interview question and this question was asked in Isaac Tirupati PhD interview this year. So the question is, suppose a child is moving in a swing and an external force is also acting on it. What will be the equation of motion for the system? Okay, so you can understand here, suppose this is the child is moving, uh, suppose there is a playground, the child is moving and also an external force is applying on the system. So, yes, you are right, this is a forced oscillation system where the oscillating system is driven by a periodic force, right? So, what is the equation of motion for the system? The motion is analogous to the force harmonic oscillator where force is mass into acceleration. So, F equals to M into X double dot where X is the displacement. Now, the total force will be the restoring force plus resistive force plus driving force, restoring force in form of minus kx, resistive force due to the air resistance, it is minus, dp, minus p into dx dt that is proportional to the velocity and driving force is the external force that is time dependent force, function f of t that is function of time. So, the equation of motion will become m d2x dt2 equals to minus kx minus p into dx dt plus f of t, okay, or you can write it as m d2x dt2 plus kx plus p into dx dt equals to f of t or you can write it in terms of uh, omega and gamma how omega naught gamma that is d2x dt2 plus gamma dx dt plus omega naught square x equals to f naught t where gamma is p by m omega naught equals to root over k by m where omega naught is the natural angular frequency and f naught equals to f by m since if it is no there is no damping factor there is no damping factor and no external force this system will oscillate with its natural frequency omega naught since the oscillation is forced oscillation we have to include this force term if there is no forced oscillation then we don't have to include this force term this whole equation that is m d2x dt2 plus kx plus p into dx dt should be zero and then that will become a damped oscillator motion okay i think you understand today's question if you like this video please don't forget to like it and don't forget to share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you